Okay. Far Cry 3 on the 360. I don't know what just happened. Uh, previously on Far Cry 3, I said I was trying to go to a loot... I, was, I rode the hang glider and got to this loot drop. But here's my problem. Apparently, remember that, uh, that machine gun, Tommy gun thing I thought I lost because I couldn't select it anymore? Yeah, let me, let me show you that. This is kind of driving me nuts. Yeah, let's see. Handbook. Trust me, this won't last long. Uh, let's go to the weapon selection. Here. Hold left bumper. Use right stick to select a weapon. Watch up to the previous weapon. Okay, fine. Here's my question. Where did this come from? I could have been using this the whole time and I have no idea where it went. I think I accidentally selected it by doing one of these things. I have no idea what I did. Let's see if I can switch back to it. Okay, it's there. Where was it? See, I have this. I have my sniper rifle. That's C4. That's mine. That's Molotov. That's, that's not my sniper rifle. Where did I get that sniper rifle from? Is this just because I loaded my saved game? Now, now I'm just confused. I, I don't know where this gun came from because it wasn't there when I saved the game. Maybe it was there the whole time and I lost it. I have no idea. I... <laughs> video games. Anyway, I just drove over here. Let me show you where I am on the map. Um, so here I am at the relic. That's not even a relic site. There's some hang gliders around here if I need them. Again, I don't know where my hang gliders went during my, during my last session with the map, but I guess they only show up if you're in the area. This is as close as I can get, but this is my loot chest, and here's, um, they're all inside this building. Which I could have swore I visited before. But I can climb this. So let's get some loot. Fat loot. Uh, okay, um, maybe this is a multiplayer area? Yeah, don't want to fall. I could have swore this was a, a story mission that I did earlier. Oh, wait, there's loot around here. If there's a quick way to do a 180, I don't know what it is. So, fair warning. Um, loot, loot, loot. Loot, loot, loot. Wait. That's not it. Yeah, uh, okay, it's probably right above me. Or below me. I mean, it's right here. It's on the side of this wall, probably. There we go. Green poker chips. I came all the way out here for green poker chips. Well, there's stuff up there, too. Let me just head back up. I mean, there might be more green poker chips. That would suck. Um, probably on top of the building, too. Uh, yum. Can I get up there? Again, this isn't just cost two. I have to actually plan for my platforming. <laughs> uh, it's over there, probably on top of that building, or maybe inside of it. Yeah, it's probably inside. Okay, if I can climb these. There we go. See, platform puzzles. Nothing dangerous, just stuff to do, I guess. You know, ubi stuff to do. Okay, that's everything, right? That's pretty much everything that matters. See, that was in Caesar's... Why did I take damage when I was in that outpost taking a fall that was arguably no higher than this? Ugh. Rated R, kids. Fair warning. Uh, did it, did it, did it, uh, does he have loot? <laughs> yeah, like I said, rated M, kids. Wait, what? Hope he didn't say anything. That would be really creepy. <laughs> um, okay. I think I got everything I needed from here. There's something over there in the corner. What's that crap in the corner? I think I got all the loot from here. Yeah, I got all the loot from here. Okay. So we're fine. Stuff to do. Skyrim with guns. Confirmed. Yeah, 
this, so I'm probably going to have to drive out here to get some more loot. Maybe there's some... Maybe there's some more green poker chips. I mean, why not? Okay, between all these fast travel points, I'm pretty much trying to fill in this fog between the fast travel points. And then, because if I die, I can fast travel back. So I'm going as far as I can until I die, basically. All of this sounds really interesting, but I'll come back to that. I'll work my way over there. That, if there were a hang glider there, that might be better, that might be easier to get to. Now, what is that? I can't read that. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with it. I'll, I'll go over there eventually. It might be something on top of a mountain. Oh, uh, wait, what does that say? Loot chest. Okay, that's what that is. Just more loot. And what's that? Yeah, more loot, I guess. Icons of some sort. Okay, so I get this loot. Don't need any more bear skins. I got enough of that. Maybe I'll get a relic later. Not interested in that. Uh, yeah, so we'll head out to this dark area in between in between all the in between all the fast travel points. And I can get there by car. So I'll make this loot chest my waypoint as I continue exploring. I'm not expecting a whole lot to happen, but you know, you know, Far Cry is Far Cry. Maybe somebody I'll run to somebody who'll kill me. Give me a better gun or something, I don't know. What? I didn't mean to do that. It's a good thing I can heal myself without medicine. Um, I need to stop holding down the Y button. See, I'm doing it again. Stop holding down the Y button. I don't need to be healed. I mean, it's nice to have, but I just don't want to be healed right now. I'm not in a place where I need it. I don't want to waste this medicine. Maybe I should drive on the road or something. What do you think? Yeah, let's, let's consider driving on the road this time. I'm stuck on the rocks. Because video games. Uh, okay. Whatever, dude. Crappy 1960s machinery. Then again, I have a Nissan Note, so it's not like, um, <laughs> it's like my car could survive such conditions. Okay, I'm hoofing it. Because why should I drive anywhere in a game like this? Big wide open spaces, dangerous animals, people with guns shooting at you all the time. Except for this guy. I might have accidentally run over this guy. And he's got nothing to say. More deer, don't need it. Again, I don't need any more deer skins. I have my three holsters. Or my rugged holster, whatever you call it. And no, I can't think of a rap song that includes that, that word in the lyric, so I'm not going to make a reference. Uh, loot up here. On top of this rock in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Erosion will do that. Erosion will do that to you. Uh, I can climb this rock. But where's the loot? It's probably inside of the rock. Because why would it be out in the open where everyone can see it and get to it easily? Uh... Uh, grumble, grumble, um, grumble, grumble. Here we go. Dead people? Yeah, he's dead. I wonder what killed him. I probably shouldn't ask, considering the last guy I saw wound up dead was hanging from stone. That's yeah, not tone deaf. I'm pretty sure Nintendo would make him take that stuff out. At least they would have back in the day. They might just have dead people lying around. They won't show them getting hung. Okay, that's all the loot. And there's a car here. Okay, next waypoint. More cars. Okay, I can probably... Let me, maybe I should figure out how far west I can go. It probably won't go well. Let's have some fun. Like I said, I'm looking for the furthest... I'm looking for the furthest parts of the frontier away from these way away from these fast travel points. So it'll basically be this area out here. So that's where I'm headed. Probably can't get there by car, but whatever. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So going west, 
No more singing. Uh, I hope this doesn't get me a copyright claim. <laughs> I'll just keep, I have to keep the volume down from here on in. This is getting kind of ridiculous. Yes, I put up a video with a crackdown a while ago where you can barely hear the Machinai supremacy that was that was streaming from my hard drive. And apparently it triggered a copyright claim. Um, I don't know how. Maybe, maybe the recording picked up more than I thought it did. And I don't mind Mac and I supremacy getting the money. I mean, come on. I, I bought the game. I bought Jets and Guns just so I can hear the music. So the idea of them getting a little bit more money off the YouTube stream that's not even monetized. Yeah. Although, I guess they're going to slap some ads on it. So if the ads are ultimately attached to the... So if the ads ultimately are attached to the video and someone's getting paid, and it will be Mac and I supremacy. Even though, the, even though the videos aren't monetized. At the moment, these videos are not monetized, and they probably won't be. Well, mostly, because, mostly because I don't want to go through the headache of trying to monetize stuff and deal with, you know, copyright claims and nonsense like that. This is all research. And until I get to the point where I can start producing stuff that's worth paying for, it doesn't seem to make sense to attach, you know, video. It doesn't seem to make sense to attach money onto that content. But the real, the real stuff that I do will definitely be worth the money. Even though you probably won't have to pay for it. <laughs> but me being me, you know, ads, whatever. We'll see how that goes. Although I tend to believe my videos aren't that advertiser friendly yet anyway. Mainly because I don't say a lot of good things about the products that are advertised on video, on video game YouTube videos. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like seriously, if, if they were in NVIDIA video in front of this, like a GT 1080 video in front of this, then you will then you don't know me very well. The chances of me buying a 1080 instead of a 1060 are very slim. I practically have to buy I'll probably have I would have to get I would have to get one for free and get a free power supply with it. And even then, I mean it's just I would probably end up selling it and end up using the money for I would end up I would end up selling it and using the money to buy a 1060 or something. And then using and then using my leftover money to like buy more RAM, I guess. <laughs> or put in my retirement account, because you know. Long view. Get lost! Is that a tiger or a is that a boar? Let me go back, see what I ran over. I'm curious. Maybe you dropped some loot. Oh, there it is. Road kills, huh? I think that was a boar. Well, D'Artagnan meat. Wild boar is good stuff. It's pretty fattening, though. But it's sustainable. Because, you know, feral swine and all. <laughs> it's like Nutria down in Louisiana. <laughs> Basically just hunt it because there's too much of it. You're basically eating rat. <laughs> Which is fine. I mean, it's all protein. And you're helping the ecosystem, I suppose. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get up that mountain. How do I change stations on this blasted thing? Maybe I can, maybe I can play some of my Japanese video game music instead. Yeah, I'm not going to interrupt the video just for that. Okay, that loot's going to be up that mountain, isn't it? I can't even see where I'm going. Why am I... This car's not gonna blow up, is it? Yes, will not go well. Well, this is gonna make some, some thrilling video, I'm, I'm sure. It's gonna be blocky, pixelated. Yeah, screw this, I'm out of here. Okay, um, so I'm trying to get some loot, and I, as, I, as I predicted, I got stuck up a mountain. I'm probably not going to be able to get to the other side. And if I get bored, I'll end up just stopping the recording and just fast traveling back to a place where I can get some extra guns. Yes, yeah, that, that's not going to happen. It's probably on the other side, too. Lord. So I guess this video will be about me driving around to see if there's a way up this mountain. 
There probably is. I just don't want to deal with it right now. See, I've made my point. There might be something west of here. So I'll head west and see what I can find on foot. Because there are too many trees in the way and I'm getting sick of dealing with that. Sometimes it's just easier in these games to walk instead of drive. That's why I don't drive and crack down. Cops don't chase after you if you accidentally walk into a pedestrian who refuses to get out of your way. But in this, but in this game, you know, cops don't chase after you if you run over civilians. No, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I think I see what's going on now. Let's save that just in case. So, okay, I'm making some progress. I'm, ac I'm exploring. God, this video's gonna look like crap with all this rain. Sometimes I wish they would just use bitmaps, but I, I, think, I think they are using bitmaps, but anyway. Um, atmosphere, biomes, completely non-strategic uh, weather elements. I mean, seriously, like, the rain just makes everything look like crap. So why even have it in these games? And the rain stops. Like, like maybe like like the day night cycle isn't even that meaningful in a lot of these games anyway. I mean, in Minecraft, yeah, I mean it's vital because I mean it's the only way to know if you're safe leaving your house. But in games like this, like Saints, well, in Saints Row, I think there was I think there was a day night cycle in Saints Row Three. I don't remember, but Just Cause Two didn't matter at all. It, it didn't impede your, it didn't change your strategy at all. Crackdown apparently had a day-night cycle, but that, Crackdown 2 apparently had a day-night cycle that mattered because there were zombies at night, but, it, but apparently that game sucked. I'll get to it later, but I mean, I just didn't want to pay 15 bucks to figure out this, if the much maligned sequel to Crackdown was better than the original. But given how much I loved the original Crackdown, it's probably worth my time to play it again. Well, I mean playing 2 for the first time. But I mean, come on, the original game's like three bucks. I mean, so the idea of playing a, an inferior sequel for 13 is just no. You know, maybe maybe a year, maybe a couple of years ago before I got my PC, I would have I been willing to pay that, I would have been willing to pay that price with store credit just to, just to mess around with it. Just to see what the game's worth, but nah. Games are too cheap now. You know, I'm buying games for three, four bucks now that are brand new. So there's no reason for me to spend $13 on a rental of a console game that might not even be that good. But again, if I get a good deal, maybe uh, maybe someone's selling it for 4 or 5 bucks at a used video game shop, maybe I'll try it. I don't know. As long as I can sell it for as long as I can sell it for 3 bucks when I'm done, I guess. Okay, those weren't animals that I can kill. That's okay. And this isn't like Shadow of Mordor where you can just shoot down random birds. And I don't know why my reticle went red. There's nothing here that I can shoot. I mean, you probably can you probably could barely see that. Um what's in here? You see what was that all about? It was all right here in front of me, right? Or maybe it's on the top of that mountain. Oh those are oh that's um okay that's camping. Okay, those aren't items to pick up. That's just showing a structure that you can visit. Okay. So on the mini map, that's what these tiny little dots and squares are. They represent man-made structures. Excuse me. Man-made structures. That's all that is. Don't know why it's here. Maybe it's just to kind of point out that it's a landmark. You visit later, I guess. Okay, so that was a waste of time, wasn't it? I already unlocked that radio tower. I can't get over this mountain. So now I have to go back the way I came. Um, there's nothing here to really visit, right? Antelope. Maybe kill some antelope. Yeah, I don't think I can make it over this mountain ridge. And we have to climb it the old-fashioned way. Oh, well. Um, I'll work my way back to a shop. Is there a shop around here, maybe? Nope. Leopards. Is that a structure? Well, I'll go, I'll go to this relic. I'll get some loot and hit this relic. Run into a mountain lion or something. We'll see what happens. We're exploring. Come on. It's supposed to be part of the fun of these games, right? Exploring new places. Finding stuff that might be useful. In fact, this is basically the highlight reel of No Man's Sky, basically. 
considering how considering how repetitive and pointless that game apparently seems to have become. Which is obviously dating the recording of this video, but yeah, this this turned out to be a th that turned out to be a thing. This this is why I don't get hyped for games before they get released. Because you are only leading yourself down the road to disappointment. Do not believe the hype, a wise man once said. And I think we have more than enough hype in society right now. I, we definitely don't need any more of that nonsense. I'd rather do I'd rather do videos like this, which show appreciation for halfway decent games or games that are worth revisiting or games that fail in interesting ways than games that aren't out yet but promise to not suck. But there's no way of knowing until they get released. Okay, now I'm scaling I'm scaling this mountain, so I'm doing much better than I expected to. I did not think this would work, and it's working way better than it should. Well, this is actually kind of scary how well this is working. Because if I get too high, I'm where I'm going to die. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to make it. Crap. Oh, wait, was I supposed to see that? Oh, well, look, look, look here. What's this? I wasn't expecting to find anything up here. Oh, I accidentally climbed the spot of the map and found the loot chest. Completely by accident. See, now I'm, see, now, see, now I'm glad I did everything I just did. Even though I wasn't, see, I was not excited at all before I came up here. And now I found something new. And I found some boys. 